you have no idea what you are capable of. Ask this again to yourself, what can you actually do? You know what? Every one of us have this ability to surprise ourselves every single day. And you know why I say this? Because I've gone through this myself. From a desk job for tons of years, I found out that fitness is my calling. And here I am standing with you all, all right? Being your coach, being your guide, being your mentor. And this is what every one of us is capable of. I want you to trust in the process that you know, we have put across to you. This is a 30-day choose to lose fitness program. And it's very important that you, know, you trust in what we offer you. And it's not only about strength, it's not only about cardio. We have dance fitness, we have yoga as well, we have interactive live sessions as well. All you gotta do is trust in us and show up. We answer all your questions and we make sure that by the end of this 30 day mark, you hit your goals, all right? You want to be that change and you will get there. This is Raul Hoidrom. I have many more stories to share about myself and this is the first of many. All right team, it's warm up time. We're gonna hit four movements, two rounds each movement for 30 seconds. The first one is very basic. Gonna slowly drive up that heart rate. We stand in one spot and we jog. All right, take a look. Okay, move along now, 30 seconds. Time starts now. Take it easy. Feel that movement on your legs, stay on your toes and breathe in, breathe out. If you want to pick up some pace, it's fine. You want to take it a little bit slow, it's all right. You want to do spot march as well, it's still okay. The idea is to just keep moving and feel your body get warmed up nicely. All right, just a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, move along with me. Next up, we've got the world's greatest stretch but we're gonna do alternating legs all right first thing first get into that high plank take your right leg outside your right palm everybody good let's start elbow down rotate come on let's do about four to five reps go a little slow by then 15 seconds would be up and then we switch one more over here okay and then let's switch now the other leg All right, just a few more reps, just one more, and we are good. All right, from here, we're gonna stay down and we're gonna hit cat and camel for your spine. Palms down, knees down. You're gonna arch your back and look up, inhale, exhale, round your upper back as much as possible. Good, let's go. So I did call out that we're gonna do the alternating world's greatest stretch, but we ended up doing one side first, that's all right. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna continue doing that for the next round. Now on the cat and camel, it's a solid mobility drill for your spine. You sit for long hours. This will help you mobilize. Last one, and we are good. Okay, from here we have the last one. We're gonna be doing knee down, shoulder taps. So let's lean slightly forward. Okay, palms stay in line with your shoulders. Your knees are down though. Engage your core and tap and tap. All right, let's keep going now, 30 seconds. Now what I mean by engaging your core is bracing that nice. You'll feel your lower back tighten as well and see if you can squeeze your butt. All right, so this kinetic chain is very important. It's not only your abdomen that you're squeezing, it's your lower back and your butt as well. You feel your shoulders tighten as well. Solid way to train your core. Okay, a few more seconds, team. And we are good, all right. Let's stand up tall, let's quickly move into round number two, spot jog it is, starting in three, two, and one, come on. Stand upright. Swing your hands, nice and easy. Above all, what you should feel is really relaxed with your body, do not force yourself. Whew. Whew. 
Right, feeling that sweat as well. Good warm up, team. A few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, world's greatest stretch. We're going to hit 15 seconds one side, all right? Let's go in three, two, and one. Take about two seconds to three seconds to finish one rep. So go slow, go in control, rotate that arm upward. Let's do one more and we are good. Switch. Drop that elbow close to the floor. It's okay if you're not able to reach, it's fine. Let's get one more rep done and excellent. All right, cat camel time. On your knees, palms down. Let's go. Breathe in. Cat. Exhale. Your camel. Over here, the key is also trying to feel that spine move as you inhale and as you exhale. Good warm up, good mobility drills, setting the tone for today's session. One more and good. Okay, just adjust your legs a little, push, push it a little behind, lean forward. Let's go with shoulder taps. One, two, three. All right, let's go a little slow. Feel that core tighten every time you lift. One hand up and tap the shoulder, yeah? Anybody else feeling the sweat? It's a good warm-up, team. And we know the importance of having a solid warm-up because that leads you. All right, team, just a few more reps. One, two, last one, and we are good. Let's stand up tall, let's stand up proud. We are done with the warm-up. So I, I, you know, whenever I trained into, uh, for fitness, it used to be only for myself, right? But when I got this opportunity to become a fitness coach, I took that leap of faith and here I am working out along with you, coaching you beautiful people. And this is what I want to be doing for the rest of my life, right? There's so many stories of myself that I want to share with you all. But first, let's get into the main workout. Now that we're ready for the main workout, we're gonna take this one workout at a time, all right, so that our body does not cool down. So we have four movements for you. We're gonna work for 30 seconds and rest 30 seconds as well. Easy movements, simple movements, but super effective. Let's start with the first one. It's a knee down push-up, but we're gonna look at the range, half push-up to a full range push-up as well. Okay, we did that shoulder taps, right? So it's very similar to that. Get into that shoulder tap position with the knees down. And then you go half range. If you're comfortable with this, go full range and come up. 30 seconds on this one, and then we rest 30 seconds, right? Every time we take that rest, I'm gonna explain the next movement. Four movements we have, and four rounds in total. All right, so let's get down onto that mat, team. Are we ready? Knees down, palms, just about shoulder width, a little wider is good. All the fingers spread out nicely, keeping that core engaged. We are starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. Half, start off with half for a few reps. All right, now you realize if, okay, this is good. This is, I can do this, go a little lower. All right, get that chest close to the floor. Keep that head steady, keep that core tight, engaged. We don't want that energy leaking elsewhere, right? We want that complete core engaged, back engaged. All right, doing well. And we are done. Okay, 30 seconds, we're gonna be resting. Next up, we've got a lower body workout, but with a nice twist. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do two partial squats, all right? And then we stand up, one, two, three, four. Four punch combo, okay? Now on the partial squat, what you wanna do is, you wanna keep your feet about shoulder width, toes pointing slightly out, keeping the torso straight, push your hips down, partial, come up. Once more partial come up and those four punches. Yeah, we're starting in three, two, and one. Let's go team. One, two, one, two, three, four. Taking it easy for the first two reps. Feeling that movement. 
Feeling nice, feeling confident. All right, now it's time to move up on that pace. All right, we feel that energy, right? We feel that vibe. This is what we want to do. One, two, one, two, three, four. Good. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's squeeze in one more rep. And one, two, three, boom, four. Now, those, those are your two movements. Next one is leg lifts. Lie down onto the mat. You can keep your palms underneath your butt. Head down. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Try not to keep your heels down onto the floor. That'd be the challenge over here because you're targeting your lower abdomen over here, okay? Head resting down, palms down. We ready? Let's get into a good position. Starting in three, two, and one. Come on. Lift. Lower. Every rep with you all, feeling the hard work and working up a sweat with you beautiful people. Come on. Breathe out as you lower your legs. Just trying to lift my head slightly. Just one more rep and there you go. All right, so three movements done. The last one, super interesting and quite explosive as well. But we'll take it easy, right? If, if you feel that, that explosiveness is not your cup of tea at this point in time, it's all right. We can take it easy for sure. So what do we do? You pretend that you're holding something. You, you clasp your, your palms, right? Then you slam and you slam. Interesting. All right, so let's do this. Three, two, and one. Come onto your toes, slam down. Yeah, with me? Come on. Now, if you're feeling that, all right, this is doable. And you want to up that challenge, a little jump, a little jump. And then you land nice and soft. Heels down. Okay, back to the slightly easier version. A few more seconds. One last slam and we are good that was your first round team now we're gonna recover for 30 seconds in this 30 seconds what you gotta do is wipe off that sweat take a sip of water and if you want to just stay active spot march whatever you want to do keep walking not a good way to maintain your step count is making sure that you walk all right whoa feeling a little you know uh, feeling a little good of course but that panting it's fine. All right, so let's get into round number two now. Onto the mat. Knees down, starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. Half push up to start with always. You feel that this range is good for you. Continue, or you want to improve on that range, go full. Chest close to the mat. Feeling that work on your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. Of course, when you do push-ups, your core is engaged as well. One more, and we are good. 30 seconds recovery. Now, this is where I'm gonna take this nice little towel, my buddy, all right? Wipe off the sweat, get into the eye. It can be a bit of an irritant, right? But it's all right. So we're ready for the next one, round number two, second movement. Yeah, let's get this done. We got your squat to work on your legs and those punch. All right, let's do this in three, two, and one. Partial, one, two, boom, 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 boom. All right, let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's pace this up. One, two, three, four. Okay, squat, squat, one, two, three, four. All right. Every time you punch, you're driving that punch from your hips and you're breathing out as well. Use your shoulders. Last one and done. All right, leg lifts coming up, 30 seconds. Oh, it's a sweaty day over here. Hard work, right? Okay, onto the, onto the mat team. This is your third movement for your lower abdomen. Palms down. 
I'm gonna keep my head slightly up, all right? Uh, kind of help me talk to you all while working out, okay? Ah, let's go. Toes extended. Slowly lowering your legs. I'll try not to touch my heels, but if you feel that, okay, it's getting a little too much, it's all right to keep your heels down for a few seconds and come up. All right, come on. Keep going, keep going, last five seconds. And done. All right. Okay, what do we have left with? The last one, the halo slams. All right, come on. You know what to do, right? Grab something. Go, boom. Boom. All right, you can pivot on one leg as well, as you could see, right? 15 seconds to go. That's your recovery time. Just keep moving, get ready. Come onto the center of the mat. And let's start in three, two and one come on boom and two and three and four come on now that you know the movement you can super exaggerate that movement right get that fun element into the movement as well all right at the same time you're building your aerobic endurance cardiovascular endurance building some strength as well that's what the session is all about. Sweat it out, one last slam and done. All right, so that's how you slam and dunk, right? Okay, so two rounds done. There's two more halfway to go. We're feeling this, we're feeling good, we're feeling strong on all you champs who've been doing that half push up, right? See if you can progress. See if you can add a little bit of depth into that push up. Feel that work on your chest. Yeah, let's do this. Get ready, team. Whew. Deep breaths. And let's go in three, two, and one. Come on. All right, team, let's keep going. Now we are on the third round, so I'm going to just indulge you in a bit of technical part of the movement, right? So when you're starting, you retract your shoulder blades, and then you tighten your abs and you lower yourself. The elbows, try not to flat them out. Okay, keep it slightly angled. And I want to say it isn't a big knee because then it'd be an overload of information. But yeah, just one more. And we are done. Good job, T. Good job. All right, 30 seconds recovery. And we have your squat with four punch combo. Of course, it's your double partial squat working on your butt, working on your quads. We know that, right? Okay, so let's get ready, team. 15 seconds done. Just about. 10 seconds before we move into this amazing movement. All right, a few deep breaths. Ready, five seconds. All right, three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Good job. With me, one, two, three, four. Another squat, one, two, three, four. Come on, let's keep moving now. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Last 10 seconds. Come on. One, two, three, four, five more. Last rep. Come on. We can do this. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, just looking at the timer, <laughs> we got exceeded by a few seconds. It's all right. No harm done. In fact, it's all gains, right? Okay. Last one. In fact, the third one. We're going to be hitting the leg lifts. So let's get onto this beautiful mat. Whew. Lie down, palms down under your butt. Head slightly raised up, if you will. Keep, them, keep it down as well, all right? Let's go in three, two, and one. Whew. Okay. In all the workouts, right, everyday session, there is this one movement which all of us find the hardest to do, but we still got to do it. Let me know which workout is that from today's session. Let me know in your stories. Tag me. Last one and done. Okay, hello slams. And of course, I, I bet this is like the one which is 
very entertaining <laughs> because I, I also find Halo Slams really good, explosive, full of power, full of energy and that fun element. All right. Okay, let's get ready. 10 seconds to go. Now, a lot of sweat in the eye. Pardon me for a sec over there. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, and one. Come on. One, two, adding a little jump. Okay, just adding to that flavor of this beautiful movement. Of course, you can come onto your toes, slam down, come onto your toes, slam down, lower that intensity by slowing down on the speed. See, all these movements are not super difficult. It's the intensity which makes the difference. All right, done, 30 seconds. By intensity, I mean the speed and all that, right? Okay, three rounds done. One more to go. All right, let's set ourselves up for this last round. Okay, we're doing good. Excellent, let's finish this on a very good, strong, positive note. And watch out for one last bit of the movement. It's a beautiful finisher. Let's do that as well, but after this. All right, let's go. Three, two, and one. Remember those points. Shoulder blades retracted. Core engaged as you lower yourself. Chest close to the floor. Keep your core engaged throughout the movement. Every rep, elbow slightly angled towards your rib cage. Last 10 seconds, team. Feeling the pump on the chest, but you're gaining that strength, upper body strength. That's more important. All right, done with this. 30 seconds recovery. Taking that little breather, right? Come on, take that towel, wipe off the sweat. Breathe and breathe out, keep moving. Okay, like I said, right? I mean, it's all about moving. It's not only a workout that is important to you, but what you do after your workout in terms of movement. You know, get up, keep moving, keep walking around your house and get those 10,000 steps, right? 12,000 if you can. Okay, let's go with the squat. Three, two, and one. One, two, one, two, three, four. This is the last round. You can go faster than the pace I'm going at. Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, team. Last 10 seconds. Last one. We can do this. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, now it's time for leg lifts. Just gonna take in a few deep breaths. What's, what's been good about this session is it's not very intense. But at the same time, I feel it's very effective, building on that strength, building on that cardiovascular endurance as well. A lot of movements, nothing too technical, but building that nice core strength and upper body strength and improving that cardiovascular endurance. Let's go with the third one. All right, those extended. We're still doing this right, team. Toes extended. We're not gonna let the heels touch the floor. Okay, all right, five more seconds. Come on, one more rep. And there you go. All right, halo slams. Oh, we're ready, okay. All right, keep moving. Feel that vibe, all right, feel that energy. Let's do this. All right, we're not gonna be resting. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Get ready. Quick sip of water if you wanna. 10 seconds we got. Okay, let's do this. Boy, we excited or what? All right, let's do this. Three, two, and one, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. What does this movement remind you of, team? Yeah. Laundry. 
washing clothes, okay? So think about it. <sighs> washing away all the sweat, all that negative energy that is around in the world today and feel positive all around. Last one, boom. And that's how we rock this session. Beautiful people, you guys were amazing, okay? But we're not done, we're not done. Okay, we have a nice little finisher coming up. Just for one minute, try to hit as many reps as possible. It's called the step half burpees. Okay, why step? Because we want to progress slowly. Okay, so first thing, palms down, step back, step back. High plank position, step up, step up, and a little jump, yeah? One whole minute, as many reps as you can get. Target anywhere from 15 to 20. I'll or maybe you know 25 if you can let's see all right who get ready about five seconds okay you want 10 all right let's do 10 count down 10 9 8 7 6 get ready 5 4 3 all right 2 and 1 this is for us all into the fitness world come on let's go one rep done 2 Okay, with the other leg. Three, come on, move along. Four. Anybody on five or six? Anybody on three? All right, it's not a race. It's just how fast you can do this at the capacity that you have today. All right, half a minute done. And I'm sure I'm done with about 10 to 12 reps. Okay, let's do this. Keep moving. This is a super solid finisher, team. 45 seconds, done. Okay, let's make it the last one. Three, two, and one. Okay, we are done with the main workout, the finisher as well. Now, I'm gonna add this little note about myself, all right? Not many of you know that I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> yes, it's all right. It's all right to, you know, have, have sweets. But let me tell you a story where I actually figured out that moderation is key, all right? I mean, it's, it's known the world over that anything excess is bad and you gotta keep it moderate. So back in school, I was part of this mess committee meeting. So every Sunday we used to eat a lot of stuff right <laughs> during the meets and once I had about 14 14 right gulab jamuns <laughs> oh wow <laughs> like in school right I mean metabolism was high into sports so probably I thought I could take it but no I could not ended up you know having a bad stomach and regurgitating <laughs> most of it I know it's you but yeah but that's that's an honest uh, you know story that's what it really happened to me and uh, yeah, moderation is key team. It's not that you know you gotta leave all those things behind if you wanna stay fit. Indulge once in a while, it's okay. All right, now that we've had a good solid break, let's continue with the session into the cool down. All right team, it's time to cool down. We got three movements. The first one will be for your quads. Let's do the simple one. Kneel down and do the quad stretch, take a look. Take that left leg up and hold it there. 30 seconds, starting now. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Now, I know that you're working out from the comfort of your home or you know somewhere comfortable, of course, where there is a couch, a wall nearby. Take support of that, all right? Couch, usually chair, right? You can do the standing as well and definitely keep a cushion if you wanna have a softer impact on the knee, right? Okay, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's switch. I'm gonna use the same handle and go slightly easy. So this is just another variation that you can do with the kneeling quad stretch. It doesn't have to be the same side, you know, right hand, right leg. Taking support of my right arm, placing it down, getting that heel close to my butt. Five more seconds. 
three, two, one. All right, so all the squats that we did, we needed to stretch these quads out. Next up, we've got thread the needle. All right, push your butt down, right arm in between, and you press that elbow down, hold it there 30 seconds. All right, let's do this. And breathe in, breathe out. Try to stay relaxed. Keep pressing that elbow down and feel that right shoulder muscles get in a good stretch. Of course, your upper back also get in a nice little stretch. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's switch. All right, for a wee bit, I'm gonna be turning my face that side, but I'm with you. Keep breathing, team. Press the elbow down. Feel that nice stretch. Three, two, and one. Okay, the last one that we have is a standing straddle. Okay, so let's stand up tall. Keep your feet a little wider than shoulder width. Now you gotta push your hips behind. Touch your toes, stay there. And if you can, touch your palms to the floor. Yeah, try not to bend your knees. If your hamstrings are a little tight, it's okay to keep your knees slightly soft, but keep pushing your butt behind. All right, 10 more seconds, team. All right, we're done, team, in three, two, and one. Slowly rise up. That was your session for today. It was amazing. I, at least I'm feeling super pumped and energized, and I hope you guys are feeling that aura around you as well. Okay, so next up, we have a strength session by yours truly, all right? It's gonna, we're gonna give you a, a different feel to it, a little different in terms of movements, in terms of intensity as well, but eventually we're gonna get stronger. So that's what it is. Now, before we end the session, I'm gonna leave you with this little note about you taking responsibility. You taking you know, the right action to make sure that you hit that goal. You hit that goal and you got two choices for that. Whether you can do it or you cannot do it. I would rather you choose you can. It's easy for everybody to fall off that you know, uh, wagon, but then coming back, with a stronger purpose, with that conviction that you believe in yourself and you are ready to do this, that is what is important. All right, so people, we, myself, my entire team, we are gonna be guiding you through this 30-day program. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, ask us. We will do our best to guide you through this program. All right, until then, it's Rahul saying goodbye to you all later. <laughs>